Hello there. This audio is going to be about helping your root chakra open and become a vehicle for you to gain information in these very turbulent times and so that you can get answers and find some peace as well as heal your subconscious and deep subconscious mind and integrate those parts into your conscious mind. Uh, Many of us are walking around fractured like that. So these are techniques that you can do to help heal that. First of all, I want to explain what a Taurus is. T-O-R-U-S. What I mean by a Taurus is a spinning vortex of energy. These are part of every cell in our body, every cell in the ocean, any type of water. They spin like a tornado except they're open at both ends, but they spin in that way and energy goes in and out the other end and you can imagine the kind of power that that has. And in fact, free energy is based on this, knowing that these spinning Tauruses are everywhere. So now that we've established what Tauruses are, and I encourage you to learn more about the Tauruses on your own time, I want to make the point that chakras, the major chakras in our bodies, are actually Tauruses. They're vortices of energy that spin, they have an opening on both ends, and they represent the energy of the mind, the body, the psyche, and much that goes on in our world that is not seen or heard. And we can harness this energy, much like Tesla harnessed (laughs) free energy, uh, we can harness the free energy in our own bodies and start to heal our subconscious mind, gain access to information and become more focused and productive in our lives. And we're really going to need that going forward in the next five to 10 years. With all this craziness, I call it the great reset going on now. So the root chakra is the base chakra. It's located right at the base of the spine around your perineum. It does flow from front to back. All the major chakras do. Our subconscious and deep subconscious are held in the back of our personal energy system or aura. And what I've discovered is a little technique where if I want to know something that is in connection with the major issue of the root chakra, I ask. The major issues for the root chakra are survival. Everything that's based in physical survival, health, food, money, shelter, family, friends, things and people that you rely on to survive in this physical world are connected to the base chakra. So when I'm having difficulty, I tune in, get quiet, get still, and I see my base chakra as that open-ended tornado on both sides. And it's red. The base chakra is connected to the color red and all those survival issues. So during this great reset, many people have lost their jobs, their livelihoods, their businesses. So if you're struggling as to what to do next, you can visualize asking a question to that base chakra. See the question in front of you and see that Taurus spinning red right through your body at the very base of your spine. And you can ask something like, where should I place my efforts on finding work now? And allow that to go in the front of this spinning red Taurus of your base chakra. And then just wait, let your mind go still and watch it come out the back end into your subconscious. The subconscious holds all your memories. It's where dreams reside. It's where past lives live and karma. For those of you who believe in that, there is much to reach into there. And let that question settle. And as you do, Allow your imagination, your powers of visualization, allow it to come into your mind, into your third eye, what an answer might be like to that question. 
Sometimes it's very, very subtle. Sometimes you'll get a name, a face, a bit of a picture, an environment. If you don't understand what that is, just continue to ask, what does this mean? And then watch where your mind goes. Maybe it, it's reminded of a time in your life or an event where you felt a certain thing or led you to get involved in a certain activity. And now you're reminded of perhaps a new avenue of work that might be the absolute perfect thing for this time in your life. The most important thing with this technique is to go into it with a very still mind, have your energy still in a non-emotional state, very much at peace, and just watch what happens. You allow that question to float into the front of that torus, in the front of your body, allow it to get churned up and spinned around and then Come out the back of that torus into your subconscious and then wait and watch what floats up to your mind, into your mind's eye. If you're not used to stilling your mind, I would suggest doing this in a somewhat meditative state or if you are accustomed to this, you can do it walking down the street or if you're riding on public transit, I wouldn't suggest when you're driving. <laughs> only because that splits your focus. You should be paying attention to the road, after all. <laughs> and don't be afraid to allow your imagination to get in there. If you feel like you're kind of making it up, that's okay right now. Imagination is actually a very strong part of intuition. Very few people say that, and I don't know why. I know my intuition has gotten stronger the more I've allowed my imagination to reach and stretch and bring in more possibilities. The more I ask to be open to all possibilities, no matter how grand or how devious or how dark, I'm able to get better information on how to protect myself, where to go next, what to do next how to safeguard things that are very important to me, as well as information on how to move forward. So this is why I'm sharing this technique with you today. I hope you find it valuable. And if you have success with it, I'd love to hear what you think. Thank you. And have a very sensual day.